As far as uh, managing your own contractors, um, unless you have a lot of time on your hand and you don't have a full-time job and you don't have a family, I, I would say yes. Um, but I would not recommend taking uh, that over. That is a full-time job in itself, and you have to know what you're doing. Uh, not anybody can just do it and do it right. Um, I, we had a hard enough time picking out cabinets and, and granite. To be able to do that and not have the experience and know what you're doing um, would be a um, overwhelming task. And, and coming from, from people that we've spoken with who have done that, um, they've, everyone has told us it's something they'd never do again. When I was told I would be out of the house for two to three weeks, that's all the insurance company would, would pay us for, to stay out of the house. If I had hired contractors on my own, I could have been out of the house longer. I would have had to foot the bill. I couldn't afford it in the first place. And in the second place, my whole life was uprooted. With my family, I have a dog who's 12 who I wasn't going to put in a kennel. You know, there's a, there's a saying among lawyers that uh, uh, a lawyer that represents himself has a fool for a client. Well, I would uh, translate it, that into anybody that wants to be their own general contractor is on the, on the road to disaster. <laughs> He's a lawyer. We heard about Rebuildex from our insurance agency representative on the day of the fire. He suggested that we could either hire contractors on our own or possibly think about going to a company that specializes in this type of uh, disaster. Well, we what? kind of liked that idea. Yeah. I wouldn't recommend somebody being their own general contractor, even if they got time on their hands. I mean, unless you know what you're doing, it's overwhelming. 